My name is Liz Millian and I am a children's book illustrator and author and a few months ago I was asked to take part in a fantastic project celebrating the life of the Durham Ox. Now you're probably thinking, who is this Durham Ox? And I thought the same when I was approached by Brightwater a few months ago. She'd seen some of my books and they said, Liz, we want you to write and illustrate a book with some local children and we want this book to go all over the North East because we want to celebrate the River Skern and those important around it in history. Now the River Skern has been around for generations, as has the Durham Ox. Now you can see these gorgeous characters here, we're going to be learning how to draw those today. But first of all, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about who the Durham Ox was. Now this bull was reported to be the heaviest in the land, can you see that? Lots of people came to agricultural shows in the olden days to see our big character. He weighed 200 stone and was over five foot six tall. Now I'm only five foot four, but I think if I stood height shoulder to shoulder with a cow, a bull like that, that is a very big bull indeed. So how do we start our character? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do our main character. And our main character, is the book. So we've got a sort of potato shape here. I'm also going to sketch out a little square body for him. So we're going to draw some horns. Don't worry if your horn is bigger than the other or it goes a little bit wonky, it doesn't matter. Now, if you have a look, we've got two ears and two horns. It's quite symmetrical. Now, if you've ever seen a cow or a bull, they've always got curly bits on their hair. And I'm normally drawing scary minotaurs, so this is quite nice for me to draw a nice, cute bull. And he's got little curly bits on his head. And he's got two eyes. And he's got friendly eyebrows. If you have a look here, I'm gonna draw a bull. And we want him to look smiley, don't we? Gonna be smiley like that. There's our ball now. He had quite a furry face. So I'm doing some little lines going around his face like that. So he looks a bit like he's got a bit of a beard. But I want him to look like a big boy ball. Now if you have a look here on some of my pictures, you can see what I think the ball looks like here. Can you see? And that is with a peanut shape. Uh, we didn't want to make him look nasty because the bull, the Durham Ox, was a really, really nice natured bull. So we've got our little bull here, and he did have quite short legs. So he's got one leg here, and he's got two legs at the back like that. And we're just going to draw some little hooves on him, okay? And with your little chick 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 lines, it's not a straight line because we want it to look a bit furry, we're going to come across like this. And cows have got big tails. Like that. They're not very exciting, those tails, are they? And we want to draw him just on some straw. Something like that. Okay. So, if my bull was sad, his face would change. Okay, can you see here now? So, if I wanted to make him look sad, I would give him a little tear. Oh, that's very sad. If he was shocked, he might go, <gasps> might be a lady cow. Hello, darling. <laughs> he could be, hello oh, there, hello oh, there. If I wanted to draw Billy, you have a look. His potato is actually this way round instead of that way round. And I have got other tutorials with different uh, shapes on. And all these other tutorials, we've got potatoes, we've got peanuts, we've got carrots as well. So I'm going to show you how to draw Billy. Now Billy was one of the children's drawings that I chose. So I got all the artwork together and I chose one. And he had quite a sort of piggy nose. Can you see that? It's quite far away. His nose is a bit like that. And I love sort of funny noses and cartoony noses. And he's going to be going, wow! he was the biggest bull he'd ever seen. Our little Billy has got two circling eyes. And he's got 
and you'll notice I haven't put any colour on yet. Now he looks like a big bald baby there, but Billy actually had lovely curly hair. We just put a lot of conditioner on that. There we go, and I'm just going to press down with my pen. Now you can use pens, you can use pencil, pencil crayons, it's up to you. So I've got a nice little crayon here. I'm just going to put a little bit of colour and I've also got a nice sort of, um, I like to call it earwax yellow but it isn't really earwax yellow. You can call it sunshine yellow if you like. There we go, so he's got nice yellowy hair and I always put rosy cheeks on and flesh colour is quite a tricky colour to get right because everyone has different shades of different colours. So we've got Billy there going, wow. And over here, we're gonna draw Ron the Rat. Now he has got a sort of carrot shape and he's got two little ears on his head. Now he wasn't a horrible stinky rat that we would get at Halloween. Um, he was a very, very friendly rat and he had um, a circly eye. See, that is a really good shape for lots of different things. He's got a little nose and a smile with whiskers. Now, if I've gone too fast, you can always rewind the tutorial, the video, and you can watch it again. And I'm just going to draw his shoulders there. So I'm not spending too long on the colour, but you could colour it in if you wanted to send in your drones. You could do a beautiful colour. And rats are normally grey. But um, what I did for this is I just got very, very faint, uh, like a, a pale grey sort of marker pen. I'm going to show you how to make it look a bit hairy with my black crayon. This is just a black crayon you would get from school. And this is a really handy colour actually for doing lots of different shadings. So there we go. We have Ron. We have Billy. And we have the Durham Ox, who was originally called the Ketten Ox, but then he got bored. And if you get the book, you'll find out what happens to our character. Now, also, our ball, I did him like a sort of chocolatey brown colour, because in the original paintings, because there was no photographs in those days, they had lots of etchings and paintings made of him. And all the colours suggested that he was this sort of nice chocolatey brown, but he didn't have brown all over him, he had sort of speckledy splodges. And he had them on the backs of his legs, and he had some on the front like this. And he was the most, most famous of all the cows at the time, which is why people used to flock to see him. I'm going to get my black here. This. His image was used on lots of plates and fancy crockery sets. Can you imagine that? Having your dinner off a lovely plate with a big bull on it. He's got rosy cheeks like that. And if I wanted to go over it to make it look a little bit more orangey brown, I've got like a crayon here. It looks a bit like my lipstick. And this goes all the way round here that. Now this is a very, very quick drawing and normally my books take me about four weeks to do and you can see the difference. My style is very different when it's on um, a page and you can see he causes havoc, he goes to Sedgefield race course and goes to the skate park at South Park, some things that you might like to do and he basically has a really exciting life when he comes to life now. Okay, so if you want to have a go at drawing those and you want to send your um, pictures in, the address is going to pop up in a minute and you can send your pictures. Also, have a look at what Brightwater does. Um, if you have a look at the, the website, Discover Brightwater, and you can have a little look. You can also share on Twitter, you can tag them in and all the information is going to be at the end. So if you've enjoyed this and you want your free um, downloadable copy, then just give us an email. Uh, also, if you want to have a go at drawing these and send them in, you might win a craft uh, hamper as well and you can maybe create some more characters, okay? So hopefully you are a little bit more informed about the brilliant Durham Ox 
You can also find out about the River Skern and what Brightwater does as well. Okay, so if you've enjoyed yourselves, tell your friends, share the video, and we'll see you again another time. Okay, enjoy yourselves. Bye.